Hello, 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 and welcome to American Yerevan with Ina M.K. And Steven Oxner, and do sitting. not get stressed out. <laughs> get stressed out, don't worry, we are here. We're back. We are here to save you from the havoc of your Friday evening. Whether you're in a bar, in a pub, getting ready to go to the pub, returning from the sports, the gym, going home from work, we are here with you speaking English on our English-speaking show, American in Yerevan, that's on every Wednesday and Friday. From, from 9, 9 to 11 p.m. p.m. Yes. And English? today... We, English. English? Yes, English. No, Can you English? imagine? English. <laughs> yes, in Yerevan. And uh, today is a very special day because it's the 25th of March. Yay. It's the 25th of March. March? I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But did you think it was a different day? A different month? It's the 25th Sometimes. of September. <laughs> When it's too cold, <laughs> today, I think it's still did you know, winter. Ina, today is the 25th of September. It's a very special day. <laughs> oh, thank you, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting colder. We just had an amazing summer, and we're looking forward to the winter. <laughs> no, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm not ready for these Can you imagine news? <laughs> if we just skipped over it? The best part of the year. We went straight no, no, back no, no, to no, the no, no. most depressing. To it. <laughs> no, don't do this to me. It's a very special day because of some research that I have done and that you have done this evening about what we're talking about today, which is Easter. <laughs> and apparently, back in the day, the Romans celebrated a very similar holiday. Of course, this was before the actual well the the actual thing we do celebrate on Easter, which is the, resur the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But um, many of the traditions have stayed around, and many of the traditions, well, I guess, we'll, we'll, we'll uncover it, because they've stayed around in America somehow, all the way from Rome, um, but they didn't quite make it here, as far as I know, or as far as you've It was too far. <laughs> told me. It was too far. Armenia. America, that's one thing. But Armenia from Italy, that's just too far. Too far. <laughs> <laughs> so stick around. We're talking about all things Easter, all things Jesus, and all things brightly colored uh, chicks. Bunnies. Bunnies. Eggs. Eggs. Easter egg hunts. Um, and the thing I wanted to say but didn't actually and ladybugs. say is ladybugs. that the Romans celebrated this holiday about the spring and the solstice and the sun coming back out and all of this, the things that we're feeling. Well, maybe not don't so much today, but I felt it yesterday, especially when it was so bright when and it was sunny. sunny. Yeah, uh, They celebrated it on the 25th of March. So, There you go. happy spring solstice to everybody and stick around. We're here till 11. Uh... Call us 560901. And share your stories about Easter. Um, and we may have some special surprises for you. But stick around. We're right, right now we're going to listen to oh, <gasps> Coco by Barov Stellar. Oh, yeah. Just listening to Crazy by Aerosmith. Man, when I was a kid, I watched Armageddon. So many, you know that song yeah, from Armageddon? I don't wanna close my eyes. I don't, don't wanna fall asleep. I watched it so many times that I got sick of it. Can you imagine? <laughs> really? Well, I have watched it. I, but I can't like imagine anyone getting really, sick of really us singing that song. You know, like. <laughs> Yeah, I watched it. I remember <laughs> I watched it like five times in one day because I just loved it so much. And I think it was one of the first, <laughs> one of the first movies that I ever owned as a child. You know, I like owned it. It was my movie, <laughs> and and I watched it so many times that I couldn't watch it again. And to this day, I. And then you discovered that can't. there are so many people who also watched it. <laughs> It's not only your movie. No, it's it was my movie, Ina. Okay, I'm It was sorry. mine. I, I, I purchased wanna, it with my own money that I earned from doing chores. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please don't shatter my no, childhood dreams. No, 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 dreams. no way. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're we're discussing Easter, and there are a lot of strange things about Easter because if you think about it, um. I'm, I really don't understand what an Easter bunny, a magical bunny, 
who comes at night with. and hides eggs, either eggs that you yourself painted the day before, or, or plastic eggs, eggs that 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 your parents did not buy. Definitely, they did not buy them at the store and fill them with different kinds of candy, jelly beans, and quarters. Um, what all of what all of that could have to do with the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Yeah, and also the colored little chicks. Do you, yeah, we better just right off the bat. Okay. Co- cover this, okay. Ina, okay. Uh, Ina introduced me to something that I did not know about and am quite ashamed of. She'll tell us in just a moment. Yes, t- tell us. What? Okay, Steve John. I was. Uh, I. I thought we should start with all the Easter traditions and history and stuff, but. But this. This is a question that's really bothering me. So I think we can start with this one. Okay. Uh, Facebook just exploded with. The pictures of colored little chicks, <laughs> which are actually alive. They are not just uh, Easter bunny toys or uh, something like that. Those are alive chicken. So these are tiny chicks, tiny little, little living little creatures, living creatures that breathe and that, have hearts that yes. are beating on the inside of them, and have their natural color of yellow. They're yellow, yellow bright yellow, bright pink, bright yeah, bright baby blue. <laughs> Bright green, yeah. just like Purple. Easter. It's an Easter miracle, which just happened again. <laughs> we have a phone call. Let's see. Here we go. We have a phone call. Hello. Oh. Gosh, try again. Try again, please. Try again. Dear try again. I think. I think I know who it is too. I'm not going to tell you because. Oh, is this a surprise? Be a great surprise. Okay. And it's cool. astounding the level of English that this person has. It's unbelievable to me. Wow. It's out can, of control. Can't wait to see who that is. <laughs> okay, so this these little creatures, living chicks, are sold in the stores right before. <laughs> like I can go to Easter Sauce. Eve. I can go to Sauce and just buy them. Yes, or I can exactly. go to Sam, 777. And, and they are there in this little uh, wooden box. There's, <laughs> one on the on the other, just squishing each other. And, oh, packed uh, in there I like bet that? La- like having a hard time even breathing or moving there. And and there are so many different emotions about and different discussions about this thing. Most of it are, of course, negative because people are really, really astonished by well, come it. on. What could be negative about it? You <laughs> have chicks... Just in time for Easter, Ina. Just in time. And they just happen to be bright baby blue, bright Come pink, on, bright green, Steven. and yellow. Yeah, they're the, just born it's a, this it's way. It's an Easter miracle. People, this is a miracle. It's an Easter miracle. This is cool. And this mi- miracle probably makes them die in well, a couple of days. It's quite possible, yes. Yeah, and what, so what do you think that these people do when they purchase... Uh, so we go to the store. I purchase my bright green chick and i take it home what next yeah, most, what do most i do next probably they buy it for their kids who yes. are like five or six year old or who will be really amazed by this colorful animal yes but then afterwards i don't know if they even take care of it well i don't know maybe they well, should that's always a big question <laughs> when it comes to kids and pets <laughs> maybe they give him a bath or something oh awful are and you then kidding? comes the disappointment oops Oops. The chick is not red. It's white or yellow or well, how could that the be? natural color. Oh, when it's uh, when its feathers grow out or something? Like when you cut when you dye your hair and then your hair... <laughs> I have bright pink... I, I dyed my hair, by the way. Really? A, a bright, um, bright, like red when I was in middle school. And then Teenager. my hair grew out and it was black again and it looked awful. They're yeah, I guess miracle. that's probably going to happen to all of those kids with their bright chicks just people i just want to tell to all those people who are doing just business on this with this chicks i don't please like don't do that tell them please don't do it please don't do that that's not gonna you're, stop armenians them. you're such a talented nation yes just make you have uh, leading scientists yeah just leading make songwriters out of clay or you i have, don't know you have out filmmakers of who have else. made history why do you have to paint chicks to make a buck yeah, around Easter. It's just one or two days. It's just, it's not gonna. 
you should be ashamed yes. of yourselves. Yes. Please, please yes. don't do that again. Yes. And anyone who's listening to us and understands what all of this is about, um, please do not buy these chicks because you're only promoting something that exactly. um, is quite this is a inhumane. Disrespectful and I just have attitude. to apologize on behalf of my people because apparently this tradition began in the, the United, United States. States of America. Probably yeah, somewhere in Arkansas. Stopped. I guess because well, of course. We I mean, I, that, that kind of thing couldn't animals. last more than five minutes in America. Greenpeace. Yes, of course. Are you kidding? <laughs> we can Fair. barely eat meat in America. Yeah. So, um, in <laughs> with a great I'd like feeling to just of dedicate, guilt. I'd like to just dedicate this next song by Eric Bennett, "My Prayer," to all of the chicks who have been painted in um, in the uh, in the celebration of yeah. Jesus christ and his resurrection we are with um, you we're with you and we're praying for you really i think that this thing could stop if we put our hearts together and our minds together um but for now keep listening to us we're here till 11 talking about easter and all of the fine bright and beautiful things that go with it yeah, we'll tell more about our traditions next <laughs> about those well, poor chicks who are covered in, uh, in different kinds of well, colors i Remember that in America, we have this thing called peeps, oh. and not like people. There's this new, uh, hey, I don't know if it's not that, yeah, it's, not, it's probably not that new anymore, but it seems still kind of new to me in my subjective life, because it, it arrived in my life, I guess, maybe somewhere in high school, so I guess, I don't know, it's not that new, but people say this, it's like a slang thing in, in American English, yo what peeps, what up yeah, peeps, hey peeps, I, hey, peeps. I remember I'm that. here. Hey, yeah, peeps. you remember people, yeah. were, especially like in high school and uh -huh. stuff, like when we it's, were in high so school. It's so cool, you know. Yeah, speak. yeah. Not to say hello, everybody, but hey, peeps. Hey, peeps. What up, peeps? <laughs> and actually, what they're saying is hello, sugar-covered marshmallow chicks that are also <laughs> in celebration of Easter and brightly colored. It's an actual thing. Cool. They're like these marshmallows. And some people, it always seems like actually people are either crazy for them or hate them. And especially in our family, I was crazy for them, and my brothers hated, hated them. them. Yeah, so I got to eat them all during Easter. You're lucky. Yeah, I was lucky. <laughs> they're like soft, and there are some people that even microwave them, so they like microwave the I peeps, love... and they're like soft oh, and gooey. I love gooey. The, mar the warm marshmallows. Yeah. On fire. Yeah. It's a terrible barbecue. Yeah. Well, you can't really you can't really roast these ones because they're covered in like this weird crystallized sugar that's bright pink or bright bright blue, bright orange, bright green, just like those chips. Yeah, just like Easter kulichiki. Kulichiki. Can chiki. you tell me what a kulichiki is? <laughs> kulichiki is like a like a um, muff a big muffin. Yes. This comes from uh, the Russian tradition. They have the Russians have it. Russians have it for Easter. Yes. It's like a big. Uh, muffin like this size and uh, covered with uh, crystallized sugar. Ah, yeah, it's like a tall kind of Topping. cake yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, and it has raisins and stuff on it the inside. It has all kinds of stuff in it with um, special spices and uh, with colored crunches on it. It's mm -hmm. really, it's yummy. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Oh man, I, like I always like the way it looks. Mm -hmm. And then I try it, and I'm not really good. Cause, to be yeah, because they're. I don't think I've ever had really like a homemade dry. one though. Yeah, it's like really dry, and the best part is the raisin. Which, I mean, how can that be the best part of a cake? <laughs> The, the cake was all right, but the raisins, oh my gosh, that would have oh, to no. be an, an Armenian cake because every time I go to Moscow, by the way, I take uh, dried fruit and nuts with me and people just go crazy. It's it's kind of, it seems like it has two sides to it because one side is that all of the products, all of the groceries in Moscow, unless you're buying them for ridiculous prices at ridiculous stores, mm -hmm. um, are they seem like they're just degraded like the, all of the nutrients have been sucked out of them and all of the taste has been also sucked out of them <laughs> i apologize to any of my friends who are listening from moscow well, but Russians that's say just the way it thing, is so they yeah. say that, that same thing right yeah so but also in agree. armenia uh -huh. the food is awesome so if you take this two thi <laughs> these two things amazing food and then take it to a place where there's just terrible food people go insane they go, I've never tasted Magic. a raisin this good before. I have never tasted something that it seems like it's from the earth like this. You're a magician. 
Yeah. Food magician. Yeah. So I always take bags and bags of dried fruits with me to amaze the public. Oh, you know what to do, Stephen. Well, it takes time and some practice, but yeah. as they say, kamats, kamats. Kamats, kamats. As they say, kamats, kamats. Ah, tavatan. Okay, we cannot translate these things, but you can just enjoy the sound of it. I'll take your suffering on myself. <laughs> I'll take the suffering on myself. <laughs> come on, come on. Step by step. step little by, by s- little. <laughs> little what? by little, I'll take all of your suffering on to myself. Oh, <laughs> the messiah. <laughs> Stephen, why don't we just... Talk yes. about our traditions. Can we get down bit? to business? Yes, please. Yeah, to yes. our rams. <laughs> Enough of this. Getting back to our rams. <laughs> yeah, well, Easter. Tell me about some traditions. Easter is one of the um, main church holidays for most Armenians. Mm-hmm. Biggest feast, biggest holiday, uh, and by far the biggest church attendance by Armenians during Easter. The Armenian traditional greeting on Easter is Christos, Christos Hareaf Imerelot, which means Christ is risen from the dead. And the answer yes. to this, the, uh, the other person says, um, which means blessed is the resurrection of Christ. So I say to you, can we practice? Because it's coming up. Sure. I don't have to. I say to you something like, uh, Christ has risen from the dead. And you answer? Blessed is the resurrection of Christ. Oh. Orhnale harutuna Christosi. Can you say it? Orhnale. Orhina. Orhnale. Harutuna. Harutuna. Christosi. Christosi. Bravo, Stephen. Oh, I, you, I love you. your pronunciation as always. Well, well after I today's. So appreciate um, you teaching me. After today's Ampi Takits I think nothing will surprise me. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, soon, soon. This is a trailer for our new jingles, <laughs> which will be soon. This is a teaser. in theaters <laughs> soon. <laughs> soon, you'll listen on air. Exclusively on Radio Van. One of three point oh 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 oh. We have a caller. Hello, Samvel. How are you? I'm very fine. And how are you? I'm doing very well. We're having a really cool Friday evening talking about all kinds of things that have to do with Easter. What are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm drunk now. You're... And uh, eggs for Easter. Ah. Uh-huh. And it was very fancy. <coughs> the pictures and. Oh, you were drawing on it. Oh. Wow. An okay. Easter drawing. <laughs> and what what is on the Easter drawing? Can you describe uh, it to us? I don't know. <laughs> Just abstract. Abstract. Oh, it's like uh, it's like the soul of an Easter bunny. <laughs> Easter bunny? Do you have plans for this weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? This weekend? Um, this Saturday is my bird's birthday. Whose birthday? Your bird's birthday? Yes. My dad's birthday. Oh, your dad's, dad's birthday. birthday. It's your dad's birthday. Happy birthday to your father. Thank you. What is his name? Tigran. Tigran. It's it's Tigran's birthday tomorrow. Amazing. Cool. So you can you can tell him happy coming birthday. Daddy. Happy coming birthday, Daddy, <laughs> from Radio Vaughn. Yay. <laughs> yes, and Sunday? It's Easter. Sunday is Easter. Yes. And what are you going to do on Easter? What do they do in Yerevan on Easter? I will wake up at 9 o'clock. Then, then I will brush my teeth. Mm-hmm. Uh, Very important. Yes. Yes, and brush your teeth and? Then I will go to eat eggs and fight with them. Yay, the egg fight. Yes, the egg One fight. One of the most fun yes. parts about yes. Easter. For those I of you... I think I will win. You think you will win? You have a plan? Yes. Do you have some kind of plan? Because I always thought it had to do with I chance. Have a plan. Okay, I what have a plan. A secret plan. 
Oh, oh, so you can't really I tell he, us. I think I he's going to have a wooden egg among the <laughs> real eggs. <laughs> Is there a, a special egg. color that you love? I love uh, every color. In the rainbow? Every, every color. Every color. Every single one of them. Every, every color. Do you yes. love yellow? You are so yes. positive, and you love And you love red? Yes. I like red. And blue too. And blue. What, 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 what about green? Oh, green! Nice guess, <laughs> Steven. Unbelievable! Come on. He likes all of them. <laughs> Samuel, you know what? I we... don't love dark green. You don't. You don't like dark colors. Dark colors. Oh, oh so okay. only. Wow, Easter is your holiday. Yeah, wow, you're having a really colors, great few days. Bright color eggs. Yeah, bright color colored and eggs. And spring colors. Dad's birthday. Yeah, it's it's all it's all very, positive very with cool. Samvel, I think. Samvel, you know, we want to say hello, a big hello to your English teacher. Yeah. Because you're doing such a good job. In, we're very impressed. Yeah, we're very impressed, and your we, English you are, is so good. You're one of our best and I'm one of our favorite listeners I yes, think. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's always so nice to talk to you. Would you like to listen to a specific song this evening? Maybe dedicate the song to someone? Yeah. Jamiroquai Cosmic Girl. Oh, oh wow, nice that is choice. A good choice. And even though I guess it is it's um maybe not the most fitting song to wish your father a happy birthday with. But I But think it, I think we could. Yeah. Can we dedicate the song to your father Tigran? We'll play the song and we'll say, this is your birthday present from Radio Vaughn. Happy birthday, dear father. Yes, happy yes. birthday, dear father. <laughs> Here comes Cosmic Girl by Jeremy Iroquois. Thanks so much for calling us this Thank evening. Thank you, Samo John. Have, have a nice evening. Have a great evening and a great Easter. Good job. Bye-bye. Listening to a song from the heart by Nelly Furtado, I'm Like a Bird. Not knowing where your home is, not knowing where your soul is, just hoping someone can tell us where <laughs> is on. it. Tell Steven. me. We have a caller. Steven, your home is here now, okay? So get over it. Vahan? Vahan? Vahan. Hello? Oh, Vahan. Yes. Long time no Long news Long time from no you. here. <laughs> yes. I think it was around Christmas the last time we spoke. Yes, yes. He, I think Vahan is waiting for big holidays to call us. Oh, <laughs> yes. You're waiting for all of the big Christian holidays. Yes, yes. I, uh, yes, I call only in holidays, yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> to dedicate songs for his I'm, I'm very family. special, you know. I'm very special and I love to be special. And this oh. is why I call only in special <laughs> days. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Vahan Jan. If you even call us even more frequent, that won't mean that you are not special i don't know i think he ha he's on to something you know like because oh. the special things they only come around every once in a while no we haven't we haven't forgotten you that's for sure thank you very much I so have how have you been yeah so tell him what have you been up to Uh, you know i i i was in beer academy i was drinking my friends Mm -hmm. Just, and I was watching the football game Armenia Bastos, you know. I have I was not following it, but I'm. Sh I, did we win? Did we win? No, no. Oh, oh, zero. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. We had to bring next it up time. Again. Next time. Did you go to the stadium to watch it? No, this he was time, watching no. on TV. No, I was in. Okay. I was in the. Beer, beer Academy, yeah, it's like a ah, beer the place, beer a Academy. pub. Ah, yes, I've heard and about this And this is not place. an advertisement? <laughs> this is it not was, an advertisement? It was, it was friendly game, and this is why I didn't go to the stadium. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. So and you were having a Friday night? Yes, yes. I adore Friday nights because I work hard during the week. And, so um, is it finished now? 10.30? Is it over? Over? Uh, um. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The okay. night may be young, as they say. <laughs> Actually, I think maybe it's just beginning. Yes. yes. We won't I reveal won't all your secrets, <laughs> Vahanjan. <laughs> <laughs> Not on air. <laughs> 
tell us, um, Easter is coming up, and that's our theme for the day. I wanted to ask you if you could tell me about the strangest um, or most unusual Easter tradition that you have experienced in your life. Uh, I can't uh, say anything about a special experience, but I always uh, remember when I was a child, I was playing with, uh, with the eggs. Egg yes. fight. The egg yeah, fight. Egg yeah. fighting, yes, with my friends. And it was, uh, it was very interesting. And I always win uh, different color eggs. Yes. And I bring it home, you know. And you always win. Yes, I you're the lucky win. guy. Yeah, you're the special <laughs> one. Yeah, <laughs> he's the special. <laughs> <laughs> this time, uh, this time is uh, is going to be mm, like unique for me because I'm going to play uh, with my daughter, you know. And I'm oh, gonna, right. Yes, of course. We remember gonna, your daughter, by the way. Yes, and I'm going to explain <laughs> her. Is the Easter, yes, and the tradition. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yes. And can you tell us a little bit, just a little bit, for our, you know, foreign listeners who don't know what is Armenian Easter all about, could you please tell us a bit about the traditions? This way you could also practice your English as you... As you and practice <laughs> what, you're going to, what you're going to tell your daughter in only two days. You only have two more days. Yes, uh, uh, I'm sorry, you want me to tell about our uh, Easter in Armenia? Yes, yeah, specifically yes. in Armenia. Yes. Exactly. Yes, as far as I know, like uh, Easter in Armenia, like people um, like color eggs, yes, mm -hmm. with, with red color, and it, it means like the blood of uh, Christ. Jesus, yes? yes? Yes, okay. True. What, uh, what else do we have on the table? Yes, on the table we have wine, mm -hmm. yes. fish, right. correct. Yes, and uh, uh, maybe I don't know. Mm, and the like, rice pilaf with the raisins, right? Yes, yes, yes. And, and lots of greens. Yes, yes, and after six o'clock, like tomorrow, after six o'clock, we gather with family, yes, to celebrate the Easter. Yes. And uh, we drink only wine and play with eggs. That's so color. tomorrow evening, if I, if I, for example, came to your family to celebrate Easter and I said, Vahan, may I have a glass of water? Would you tell me no? You say <laughs> no, <laughs> we only, only drink wine. wine. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I will give you uh, water, but uh, like oh. these days, I mean uh, uh, Alcohol, yeah. Oh, yes, okay, so only, no cognac, only, you know, no because vodka. It's, you know, Stephen, let's, Van John, let's tell a little bit to Stephen so he oh, knows. Yes. Uh, this is, the Easter comes after Lent, after the 40 days of Lent, and only uh, on Easter you're uh, allowed to eat fish, like the first meat you eat right. is fish and right. wine from, ah, from alcohol. Drinking, yeah, because yeah. I haven't had a, a drop of alcohol for the past 40 days exactly uh, you know i'm sure that uh, steven knows but uh, he just wants us to explain you know <laughs> <laughs> you're just too sure. smart for us there Mahan. Uh, because he's so <laughs> he's special, so special. <laughs> <laughs> well thanks so much for calling today do you have a song that you'd like to listen to yes uh, maybe amy one house cheating oh uh, let's see let's see uh, I'm going to put on uh, You Know I'm No Good by Amy Winehouse, where she talks about some cheating. Um, she was a wild woman, wasn't she? Yeah. So, such a she, tragedy so that she's gone. Crazy. Thanks for calling. I, hope, I wish you a great Easter and a great Easter to your daughter and your family. Have a great Friday night. The night is young, so don't end it yet, Vahan. Thanks for calling Thank again. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye. America, we have this tradition of Easter egg hunting. And we have this uh, this character in our tradition, the Easter Bunny, who comes at night, the night before Easter, and he comes and he hides Easter eggs all around the yard, and he hides them specially for the kids to go around and hunt for them. But then there's this thing, like big Easter egg hunts that take place in these giant fields. And it's not really a hunt because it's like 
just a bunch of Easter eggs all across this big field. And then kids, like, they run out and they just grab as many as they can. And it's like this big mess of a, of a, of a, just a pile of eggs and a pile of kids. And it turns out that the largest Easter egg hunt that ever existed was 501 thousand eggs that were searched for by 9,753 kids oh in Cypress gosh. Gardens Adventure Park in Winter Haven, Florida That'd on the 1st fun. of April, 2007. That's even more fun Can than you imagine the egg fight. Being one of those 9,753 kids. <laughs> I wish I did that in childhood. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> I'm sure that would be fun. Yeah. Steven, do you know how Easter sounds in Armenian. Oh. No. It is Zatik. 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 Oh. And you know what Zatik, Zatik means? Zatik. Zatik. It's probably like some kind of... Uh, it's like uh, oh, the don't... feeling you get when you're under the sun in the springtime. <laughs> have the <laughs> sun poetic. falling on your face. <laughs> but don't Zatik. torture yourself. <laughs> no, that's not it. it. Is, Zatik means a ladybug. No way! Yes, that does. So Zatik that is, is both Easter and Ladybug? Yeah, but you know... Unreal. Actually, Zatik for Easter comes from a totally different thing. Oh, it, so it... You yeah. mean it has like a different root? Yeah. No way! It what does it come from? It comes from a word Zatel, Azatel. Which is a verb. Which means to set free. Oh, Oh, to, to Zatik. So it's like Liberation yeah. Day. Liberation from sin and yeah. pain, which Christ did. Which he did by by being on the cross yeah. and dying for our sins and exactly. then being resurrected, resurrected, which we can do through our relationship to him. Exactly. Oh, no, that's that is great. correct. Wow, what a great word, Zatik. Zatik. Day of Liberation. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that a lot of Armenians even do, do not know why Zatik, where Zatik comes from. So oh, this is quite interesting. So a lot of Armenians maybe even thought that Zatik was He's like... the ladybug. It's the day of the ladybug. <laughs> and and also, everyone's wondering, what do ladybugs have to do with Jesus? <laughs> Jesus, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but also a ladybug is seen during spring and this bug is a symbol of good news. So oh, so it's all kind of in one big web. Yeah. Uh -huh, I hey, see. Have you ever played with the ladybug in your childhood I did yeah I played with ladybugs and there was always that moment where you're like holding it in your hand and you're thinking yeah oh it's a ladybug it's crawling so all over me and then it poops on your hand and you're like oh no and then it flies away and you just have a bunch of ladybug poop left on your hand <laughs> well then know about pooping but if you had a ladybug landing on your hand in yeah. my childhood this is how we played uh, or hand or arm or wherever that meant that you need to sing for it until it flies away and if you manage to do so you're gonna be lucky or, you know and so you have good luck for the rest yeah. of the day or the rest yeah. of the week or Someday. <laughs> <laughs> you have good luck someday. <laughs> someday. There, uh, there are even little folk poems that you read for the ladybug to read the future. Like, Zatik, Zatik, Garmish, Zatik, Asa, Inchem, Berelu, Tara, Achik, Tara, Achik, Tara, Achik. Which means, little ladybug, please tell me, what am I going to have? A boy or a girl? A oh. boy or a girl? girl? Boy, girl, boy, girl. Um, you keep saying that until the ladybug flies away. And at the exact word that if she if it flies away uh -huh. during you saying when you say girl boy or, or boy, boy yeah that's what you're, that's gonna, what you're have. gonna have <laughs> yeah. yeah and you like say is it a boy or a girl a boy or a girl yeah. and it flies away and as it's flying away it's, it's gonna be a girl yeah and then the ladybug goes nichivo nichivo <laughs> just like that. <laughs> I remember that story, Stephen. <laughs> try next time. Next time yeah, it'll next be a boy. Time, next time, try better. <laughs> yeah, I want to share a little bit more on our traditions. Oh, yeah. Okay. The Feast of the Resurrection of Jesus Christ is celebrated on the first Sunday following uh, the full moon. Therefore, Easter may fall between March 22nd and April 25th. Sure. During the Divine Liturgy celebrated on Easter Eve also called the Candle Mass, on Saturday when the good news of Christ's resurrection is given, the seven-week-long Lent is over. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. and yes. everyone lights a candle at church from the main big candle at the altar um, and uh, brings this lighting candle back home. Like each, they bring sure, each yes. family 
has to have this one candle mm-hmm. brought from the church. And um, this is very similar to Christmas. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this is bringing the light of the Lord, the in, Lord. into your home. Yeah. It brings light. Uh, you bring the light home, and it symbolizes the light that Christ brought onto the world and then on Sunday it is the day of a special morning service at church Mm -hmm. and then Mm -hmm. we continue the feast of having the eggs the um, the egg wars the egg wars the pilaf the raisin and (laughs) rice pilaf the fish the wine etc so those are two days of family special family holiday which and family tries to celebrate together then they go to each other's houses like the relatives houses we go to our aunt's course, houses with course. our eggs you can't get away with not <laughs> doing that yeah <laughs> and fighting eggs of our siblings or our you know cousins and <laughs> it's really fun and you bring home uh, their eggs the, the eggs they have at home because uh-huh. everybody tries to be really creative having their own colors designing their them designs. in their special yeah. ways yes <laughs> Well, I can imagine that it's really easy to feel good on these days of celebration. And so let's listen to this song, Feeling Good by Nina Simone. Stick around. We're here for a few more minutes this evening, dedicating our episode to Easter, the holiday that is coming up in, well, I mean, you could almost say in a day. It's a new day. It's a new life for It is 10.54, which means that we are at the end of our episode here on American in Yerevan. Signing off, but stick around because... Because at midnight, straight, sharp, we'll, we're going to have a very special guest. Attention. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hosted by Serop. Yes. yes, and as far as I understand, he's an actor, is that right? Yes, he's oh. an actor, he's a showman, he's a very, very uh, famous and loved Armenian person, celebrity. celebrity. So stick around, at 12 midnight we will have Open Night. Open Night is, an, uh, is, an, is a midnight program every Friday night here on uh, Radio Vaughn. Hosted by our different uh, hosts. Yes. Our, our different hosts who come and slave away in the middle of the night so you can have an interesting Friday. We are here every Friday or every Wednesday and Friday with Ian MK and Stephen Ox on American in Yerevan from 9, 9 p.m. to, to 11, 11 p.m. And we would like to remind you that we also have a page and Facebook, American in Yerevan. You can follow us, you can like us, you can follow the shows that you've missed, and also give us suggestions on. What kind, of, what kind themes of themes you would, would like, like to hear? To, because yeah. we're here, we're here for you, really. I mean, we're not here because Ina and Steven like to talk to each other. We're here Which because we like to talk. <laughs> we like to talk to you and hear what is interesting to you in our uh, cultural exchange of being an American and being an Armenian who have been between countries and get lost between the two lives that we live. Right now we're going to listen to Two Face by you. Stick around again. We have open night coming up at. Well, midnight. One of three.